If you have done any research about studying in Germany at bachelor's or master's level, you usually come across two major types of institutions of higher learning, which are Technische Universität or Fachhochschule. <laughs> I know I've probably butchered that pronunciation, but oh well, we move. But have you ever wondered what exactly is the difference between these two types of institutions? Well, now you don't have to anymore as in this video, we will look at what are the major differences between the two. That way you make the right choice when selecting where to pursue your future degree. Stick around to the end of the video as throughout the video, I will give my personal thoughts on which between the two institutions you should choose in case you either plan to work or to pursue further education after you graduate. Let's get started. Technische Universität or technical universities tend to focus more on theoretical and research-oriented education. This means that you either have to masters or, at best, understand theories, laws, and principles in various technical and scientific fields such as engineering, computer science, physics, mathematics, and so on. Fachhochschule, which from now on we will be referring to as Universities of Applied Sciences, on the other hand, tend to focus more on applied learning where a student is still taught the theoretical part, but now he or she needs to go one step further and apply this information in order to gain practical skills and hands-on experience in a specific industry. Technical universities tend to often utilize the traditional lecture-based style of teaching where a professor comes and displays slides during the lecture and you basically try your best not to fall asleep halfway through the lecture. <laughs> it's just a jokes. Hey, hey, man, man, it's just jokes. It's just joking. These lectures usually go hand in hand with laboratory work, and research projects. Universities of Applied Sciences, on the other hand, adopt a different approach to teaching where there are fewer in-person lectures and emphasis is on practical trainings, internships, and participating in real-world projects along industry partners to ensure the student gains the relevant practical skills required in a particular industry. Hopefully you guys are enjoying today's episode as it was requested by one of you guys, my lovely subscribers. So yeah, keep the comments coming in the comment section down below and also thank you for the support lately. As you can see, we are now at 600 subs, which is absolutely crazy to me because in January of this year, we were only at 49 subs. So hopefully we can get to a thousand subs by the end of the year. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and, you know, help the channel grow. Anyway, back to the video. Technical universities offer a wide range of academic programs at bachelor's, master's, and PhD levels, whereas universities of applied sciences mainly offer bachelor's and master's programs in a limited number of fields such as engineering, health sciences, business, and so on. So basically, as of the date of recording this video, universities of applied sciences do not offer PhD programs yet. Technical university programs are highly competitive. And in most cases, students are required to have an excellent academic record from their previous studies or they need to have relevant research experience. University of Applied Science programs, on the other hand, tend to be less competitive and students may be required to have more practical work experience 
or industry knowledge, particularly if you are applying for a program at master's level. Generally, technical universities tend to have more strict admission requirements than universities of applied sciences do. Technical university graduates tend to pursue careers in academia, in research institutions, or even in high-tech industries. So, for example, off the top of my head, I can think of, I don't know, BMW. Yes, BMW, the car manufacturer that you and I both know. BMW tends to employ a lot of technical university graduates in Germany to conduct important research on various trends in the car industry. The results of these studies tends to influence key decisions that will be made by the company in the future. University of Applied Science graduates, on the other hand, typically enter directly into the workforce and immediately start applying their practical skills in their respective industries. In conclusion, technical universities and universities of applied sciences in Germany offer excellent opportunities for higher studies in various fields. Choosing between the two depends on individual preference and your individual career goals. For example, if you're interested in pursuing research and innovation in the world of academia, and you don't mind sitting through boring and sometimes grueling lectures every other day, and finally you are comfortable with having to sit through sometimes extremely difficult exams, then a technical university would be an ideal choice for you. On the contrary, if you're looking for a more practical experience that enables you to have hands-on skills and you have no intention of pursuing further studies in a particular field beyond master's level, then a University of Applied Science program would be a better option for you. And there you have it. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, kindly let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, bye bye!